Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and in today's video, this is probably going to be the most important video you're gonna watch on clothing in my channel for the winter time because this video is going to be on my winter capsule wardrobe. For those of you who don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, it is essentially a limited number of items in your closet that can carry you over seasons because they are your must-haves, most staple essential items. So before I go into the video, I just wanna know a couple of things that are extremely important. The first First thing I want to pinpoint is that a lot of the items that I'm mentioning in this video can actually be bought in several different colors. I've chosen the most essential essential of the colors, but usually if you stick with black, white, gray, or beige, you can really, really expand your wardrobe with the exact same style of items. But if you invest in these colors, you can really expand your wardrobe and really take your wardrobe to another level, or if you want to increase some pieces, but stick with these styles. The second thing I want to mention as well is that for capsule wardrobes, there actually is kind of like a life expectancy, if you want to put it that way, because there are still fits and sizes that really change over time. So for example, if I were to make this video about five, six years ago, a lot of the denim would be skinny jeans or a lot of the items would be fitted. But right now we are kind of in the era of more baggy jeans, straight jeans or flare jeans. And we're also in the era of oversized. A lot of the times, not all the pieces are like this here, but it is important to keep this in mind when you are building your capsule wardrobe, there is going to be some changes that are going to come along the way. So with that being said, I'm going to get started on today's video. And the way I'm going to structure this is going from bottoms all the way to tops and going from the lightest item to the heaviest. Starting with the first item is this straight skirt right here. Honestly, if you invest in a black straight skirt, it is going to take you through so many different outfits. And the reason why I still put this in the winter time is because if you wear a pair of sheer black tights, it can actually take you through fancy dinners and Christmas parties, etc. Will still keep you warm, especially if you have warm tights and you can wear it with booties. And this is a great piece to have in your closet to dress up. The second item is another dress up category but in the pants category so it's going to be a pair of leather pants these ones are the Aritzia Molina pants these ones are such a staple so many people have this this is also something I see you wearing going out for nice dinners to bars or just on an occasion that you want to dress up you can also dress this down actually with sweaters cool colors stuff like that so it is definitely an essential in your closet for a pair of leather pants I definitely would recommend starting with black but when you're ready to expand in your closet you can also check out some of the other neutral colors as well. The next item is a pair of dress pants and these ones I got from Dynamite and they're also in the color black. This is definitely something you need in your closet, especially in black. After this, I would probably go with gray and tan, but starting off with black, this is absolutely an essential. It honestly goes with everything, especially all of the tops that we are going to be talking about. And they are a little bit flared at the bottom. So it looks really good with sneakers or pointy boots, etc. but it is such a great pair of pants. They're also so comfortable. I wear this about two times a week. Honestly, it's not something you can't have in your closet. Moving on to denim. This is basically the denim version of the pair of pants that I just mentioned earlier. So this pair is a little bit more flared pants at the bottom. For the sake of a capsule wardrobe, I picked denim that don't have rips, but you're also welcome to get these exact same styles in different colors and in rips, etc. One color that I really do recommend that you have in your closet it during the winter time though is a winter white so not a white that is like a super piercing snow white but one that is a little bit more muted such as this one this pair I got from pretty little thing it is super comfortable it goes with everything and this shade of white is honestly perfect for the winter time it goes with all of the lighter colors and tan colors without looking super summery the next and last pair of denim that is in my capsule wardrobe is a pair of straight jeans so these ones I got from citizen of humanity once again, they do not have rips in them because like I said, I want to keep this timeless and you are welcome to get a straight pair of pants with rips. This is probably the closest thing you can get to a pair of skinny jeans. They still look really, really good with ankle boots or combat boots. So I absolutely think this is such a great staple. A lot of people don't like the buttons like this on jeans, but for me, I actually prefer them because I feel like it gives me a little bit more breathing room. So I really, really like them. And I definitely recommend investing in this color as well as black 
black, winter white, etc. So the first top that I want to share with you is this top right here. This is a thin turtleneck. It is basically almost in a shirt material. It's not wool at all. It's quite fitted. The reason why everyone needs this in their closet is because of two reasons. Number one, you can wear it on its own, especially if it's a warmer winter day, you can wear it on its own with all of the bottoms we mentioned and layer it with a blazer. Or you can also wear this, and this is one of my favorite ways to wear it, is wear it under a crew neck sweater. It basically allows you to really layer up in the winter time by adding an extra layer at the bottom with the crew neck. It looks super stylish. You can clearly see the layering pieces. The two colors that I really recommend in getting for a fitted turtleneck is white and black. So I'm going to show you examples from my Instagram as well, how I've styled it, but this is one of my favorite, favorite ways to style this turtleneck. The next item, I don't think anybody is surprised, especially if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok because I did an entire dedicated styling video to this shirt right here. Just to keep in mind, it is an Oxford shirt. The material is slightly big thicker and it is more form fitting. Whereas there are some shirts that are very, very thin. They also wrinkle very easily. So make sure when you're looking for a shirt like this to type in Oxford shirt. The one that I have is from Zara. I actually left the item number in my reel and my TikTok so you can check those out. This shirt is one of also the other shirts that I don't really think is necessary to have other colors. Just getting the white is fine. For me, this shirt takes me such a long way. I can wear it on its own with all of the bottoms that we've mentioned, but it can also be layered under under crew neck sweaters, sweater vests, etc. So this is definitely a piece that you need in your closet to have that really stylish look and put together look for your winter wardrobe. The next item that I have for you is actually a set. So it is a sweatshirt, sweatpants set with the rise of athleisure and loungewear. It is so key to invest in a matching set. So here I have white to show you, but other colors I would invest in are definitely white, black, tan, and if if you want to have a little bit of color right now, dark green is super in, but these are some of the colors that I would definitely recommend investing in. You can also pick either hoodie or crew neck, but I'm going to sell you on the hoodie more than the crew neck. If you had to pick one with some of the later coats that I'm going to show you, it's extremely stylish to throw on top of a set, but with a crew neck, it really messes up the front. Whereas with having a hoodie, you're able to pull it back and really have that put together look. So I personally prefer hoodies over crew necks when it comes to sweat sets. Obviously I do have both, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the hoodie version and it's just so comfortable in your closet, especially if you're on a plane, if you just want to kind of hide your face or if you're walking in the cold and it's super cold and you want to protect your head. It's also one of the other reasons why I would definitely always pick a hoodie over a crew neck. This set I actually got from Pretty Little Thing as well and it's super cute and I'm definitely going to also invest in different colors. Going into sweaters, I actually have four styles of sweaters that I want to recommend. And once again, a lot of the colors you can continue to add on, but the three colors that I would definitely stick with are white, black, and light gray. So the first style I want to share with you is a V-neck sweater. And once again, since we are in the age of oversize, this is a oversized V-neck sweater. Whereas a few years ago, a V-neck sweater is still in, but it was just a little bit more fitted. This one I have here is from Oakenfort, and this is super, super cute to wear with a lot of the items, especially especially the bottoms that I've shared. You can also wear the Oxford shirt that I shared before, but this is honestly one of my favorite sweaters to wear in the wintertime. The next sweater is probably the most essential sweater that I have mentioned, and I've mentioned it so many times earlier in this video, which is a crew neck sweater. So a crew neck sweater is basically this type of neckline, and this is a wool sweater. This one I also got from Oakenfort, and it also is a little bit oversized. I love wearing this on its own, and I also love wearing it with my white turtleneck that I showed you earlier underneath. I actually would recommend brown, but brown is a color that is super in this season. I do see it as a staple, but whether or not it will be continued to carry forward in the next few years is still a question mark, but I would definitely invest in either like a white, black, gray, etc. This style is definitely essential in your closet. The next item I want to share with you is just a regular turtleneck sweater, and this one is not super, super fitted, but this is a wool sweater. This is what I 
mean by the difference between these two. As you can see, this one is extremely thin and this one is thicker and in a wool material. Both have its own purposes, but this is also another item that you need in your closet. Here I have it in the light gray and I got this from Zara, but I also have it in the black as you see that I'm wearing it right now. This one is from Aritzia. Having it in a winter white, a light gray, dark gray, etc. A black is definitely essential in your closet. The next item that I want to share with you is actually a turtleneck dress and you are going to be surprised at the number of times this dress has saved my life. It honestly goes with so many different things. First of all, this sweater dress, I have it in both black and white. This is something that I also got from Zara, but I have another one from H&M. And the reason why a sweater dress is super essential for your wardrobe is because it is such a great lazy but warm item to throw on because you don't have to think about pants. You can just throw this on. I really like pairing this with a belt just to make it look a little bit more stylish, but you put this on and a wool coat on and you're pretty much done. I also really like to style this item with knee high boots. So I have this in once again, black and white, and then have the boots also in like a black and light color. And it is just such an easy piece in your closet and just everyone needs to go invest in a sweater dress. Moving on to jackets. The first one I'm going to share with you is the classic oversized blazer. I don't think you guys are surprised about this either. Once again, especially if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, most of my outfits consists of me wearing a blazer. I'm just going to show you a collection of photos here of me wearing blazers. Since I had to pick one color, I definitely would pick black, but some of my other top picks are definitely tan green, actually, surprisingly like a dark green and definitely a gray. These are some of my top picks for blazers. This one I got from Zara and I got it literally in all three colors that is available has served me so, so, so well. I'm going to do a completely separate video on my entire blazer collection, but basically this is something that you definitely need in your closet and it just looks good with so many different outfits. The next item I actually thought was a little bit too stylish to put in this video, but then I changed my mind because I realized after rewatching Friends that Rachel Green wore this all the way back in the 90s. So I realized it is something that's always going to circle back around, even if it is going to hit pause for a little bit. But I actually don't think this item is going to hit pause anytime soon, but essentially it is a leather trench coat. So having a trench coat in general is definitely a must have. Right now, the leather trench coat is super in. Even if you don't want leather, just take this item as just having a trench coat in your closet. Popular colors, definitely get it in a black or dark brown or something like that. But this is definitely something that is super essential in your closet and it gives that really like stylish piece. And if you get a thinner trench coat, you can actually layer it with more items in your closet, such as a wool coat to have that very nice layering effect. Here I have the black trench coat and I get so many compliments on this jacket. I also just don't really see it going out of style. And even if it does, like I said, I think it will just hit a pause and kind of continue on. This item out of all the coats that I have and will recommend is going to be the one and only one that I am very adamant on. And it is a wool blazer jacket wool long blazer jacket. So this is what it looks like. I got this from Oakenfort. I have had this jacket for about seven years now. I still wear it every winter, every season. Just to prove to you how old this jacket was, this was the old Oakenfort logo. They used to go by a brand called Knoll. Only the OG Oakenfort fans really will remember this, but this is how old this jacket is. Like this doesn't even exist anymore. And just to prove to you how staple this is, essentially what you want to look for is a jacket that pretty much looks like a blazer, but it is long and it is wool and it is a little bit oversized. Surprisingly, even from years ago, this jacket, even though it was oversized, it was still extremely stylish. I think it's just because it makes it really easy to throw on top of everything. No matter how chunky your sweater is, this will always, always fit on top. So this is something I highly, 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 not even recommend actually, I'm going to demand that you have this is a black version. Obviously beyond the black one, if you want to expand to different colors, you can, but this style is definitely not one to miss at all. Okay. The next coat I mostly brought as an example, it isn't actually part of my capsule wardrobe, but I did want to just show you as an example, this is a tanned version. This is something I just added in my closet this year. And this one has a little bit more of a shoulder padding -ness, So this one won't be 
as timeless as the one I just showed you. Right now, the oversized, especially like shoulder padding items are definitely in right now, especially thanks to Hailey Bieber. But I noticed that this trend has been going strong for many, many years, and I actually still see it going forward for a few more years. So this is something that also is extremely in. This one, I got it from Pretty Little Thing, another example of a blazer wool long jacket. The next coat that I wanna share with you actually ended up in this video through trial and error. When I first bought this coat, I actually didn't expect this coat to be a staple in my closet just because of how stylish I thought it was. But essentially it is the Sherpa Teddy coat that is also long. I thought that it was very trendy, so I didn't think it was going to be in the capsule wardrobe. However, because I've been wearing this item for literally about four seasons, I now own three, three different colors. I have a tan one, a pink one, and now a white one. I now realize it is an essential core item in your closet. Another reason why this is an essential core item is because ironically this item in the Sherpa material is warmer than any coat that I own that isn't like a, you know, straight up winter ski jacket. In fact, when you're out with this jacket, this is probably the warmest yet most stylish coat you could own in your closet. So if you are someone who also lives in Canada, I highly recommend this coat because this is going to be your nice dinner coat, whatever the days that you wanna dress nice, but it's like negative 10 outside. This is definitely one to consider. The brands that I've owned for all three Teddy coats include H&M, Aritzia, and this one is from Oakenfort. The last coat that I have before I go into accessories is actually this coat right here. I want to once again emphasize it's more on the style. So the one that I have is from Princess Polly. I also have this in the tanned color, but another color and other stores that you can definitely take a look at is obviously black. Other popular ones are obviously the Aritzia Super Puff in all these different colors. You can also check Zara for other puffer coats. A puffer coat, especially one that kind of gives you the Michelin man vibe is definitely something that has been around for so long and I don't see this going away anytime soon. It is definitely an essential in your closet. Definitely take a look at a puffer coat, but this one is mine and I absolutely love this coat. Going into accessories, the first item I want to share with you is this belt right here. Basically, I just want to recommend a black belt, a black staple belt. This one I got from Dior back when I went to Paris. By the way, you can go check out the vlog and the unboxing here, but a Essentially, when I was making the decision to buy this belt, this belt was ridiculously, violently expensive. It was almost unjustifiable, but I realized as a black belt, this is going to be something that I will continue to wear season over season. So that's why I ended up justifying the price because I knew this was going to be a staple in my closet. So obviously there's also the Gucci one and obviously non-designer as well. You do not need a designer version, but I do also think that this is something that is going to be around for a very long time around your pants, around your waist, etc. It is definitely worth, you know, investing in having like a good quality leather belt. So ways that I would wear this in a Dior belt is I've worn it on top of blazers for my pants, on top of coats, etc. Honestly, it is just such a staple, especially for the winter, and I highly recommend. The next two items that I want to recommend are both scarves. So these are the two scarves that I honestly just never see going out of style. These are both wool scarves. The first one is with a little frilly thing and one is without. I think that by owning these two styles of scarves, honestly, you just can't go wrong. You will just genuinely never run out of combinations and it will never run out of style. So you are able to also invest in a very, very good quality one. This one I have here is from Oakenfort, which as of filming it is still in stock. This one I got from Dynamite, but both of these are extremely staple items. Very, very essential. I've been looking for these scarves for a very long time and finally got them this season. With that being said, that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys found this helpful and make sure you are subscribed to this channel as well as follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!